Hello and welcome back to Raft. And we are going to, in this episode, get some propulsion and steering on this raft. Now, I'm getting attacked, of course, and I'm not going to go deal with it because it's fairly cheap to replace and I can't be bothered. Uh, so, with that, uh, a like uh, to the video and a subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, would be super awesome and helpful. But the choice is yours. We will get to actually making this thing a reality. Now, I pre-made some copper ingot just because I need a circuit board. So, let's make a circuit board, and uh, let's see. I need a fair chunk of resources. And uh, let's pick up... I need a rope, and I need the metal ingots now. Do I need more metal ingot? Oh, yes, I need. What is that? Um, I have six. I need nine in total, so. Yeah, I need. I need more. Let's just leave it at that. And say that I need more. So let's get some metal crafting. And while we have that going, I think what I should do is make something for this, like, um, engine to attach to. Now, I could put it pretty much anywhere, but I'm thinking of doing something a little bit sneaky. Let's drink first, just so we don't run out of let's build out like that now technically i should be able to remove that and uh, that get destroyed um will they fix that hmm I want to test something. Now, this is going to be fairly um, expensive, but I think it's worth testing. Let's do that. That is now protected, so it... And I will remove this. And it got destroyed. Okay, so I can't do that um, trick, so to speak. Well, I might be able to, but I don't care enough to do it enough. Now, I did waste a little bit of resources, but that's fine. So, I think what I will do then is actually remove you, um, which is a bad idea because I will start moving again. Um, let's... Um, make the top floor first a little bit more than it is 
So we can move this. That should be enough. Like that. Remove. Maybe. And yeah, I'm moving forward. Whatever. Nothing goes the way you want it to. Um, have they changed how this works? Like, does it have to be here on the bottom floor? Might be the case that it does. I hope not. But that might be the case. Let's go and get some uh, some wood and some plastic that's bobbing through the ground. <laughs> Can I place you? Technically speaking, it is a free way down, so it could. But no, it doesn't seem like I can. Hmm. That's too bad. Okay. Um, whatever. So it has to be down here so I think what I will do then is actually remove you put you I think here a bit more away not immediately in the middle Making it a little bit more awkward around these collectors, but that's fine. The reason why I'm starting to sort of migrate myself up with all of the functional things is mostly because, well, down there is pro. This is basically going to be the floor with the anchor and the engine and that kind of stuff so if we then do 
think the easiest way of doing this without wasting resources is to make one engine and see where we can place it. Now I'm going to need a lot more wood which I stupidly used for some not needed stuff. Um, but it's what it is. See if we can get some of the floating bits out here and be able to craft the engine. Now, I don't know how many foundation blocks I have. I don't think it's more than... hundred. It's a fairly small raft I have. But I'm also not entirely sure how it determines like how many quote-unquote foundation blocks you have if it's all of these different here or if it's just a foundation block. That's called foundation. That I'm not 100% sure of. for all of that yes do i have i have one space let's take the palm seed not for any real reason wait a second is that my raft drifting away come back here this is not good this is not good. I thought I put it... I locked it down. Maybe I didn't. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> I thought I locked it down. Apparently I didn't. Shark will most likely come attack me. Yep, momentarily. As I get attacked, and as I say it, I do get. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why it's moving? Why is it moving? Why did it change direction? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, okay, um... Oh. Um, I need to...
Here we go. The shark is defeated once again. Here we go. I should have more than enough stuff. Um, let's get um, some daylight. And uh, we will uh, see if we can finally make this engine. We have enough resources. Craft. Steering wheel. Don't have enough scrap for that, but if we go in here, we should. And... I think hinges is less expensive. And when, when you see... I said this before, but when you see it like this, you can have one of each or two of one kind. So you can mix and match, and I have more than enough hinges laying around, so I will use the hinges. Whereas the bolts, I think in a lot of the recipes for tools and stuff, you need bolts. So I think that more valuable to keep around for myself. To use rather than using it for that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't have that many mango seeds. Whatever. Um, we have one of each. Now, as you can see, this um, engine is fairly large. So I think what I will do is... Something like this. Boom. And yeah, as it says here, activate engine. Uh, one of these engines will move 100 foundation. So if you have... And this is the annoying thing. If you have a raft that is 101 foundations, this engine will not be enough to move that. But if you remove one foundation, this one engine will be enough. So do keep that in mind that that's how it works. We can activate the engine, turn it off, we can uh, say which direction the engine should go in. And depending on which way around you have this oriented, um, you, depending on which way you want to go, you might have to switch these around. For example, if I put one uh, somewhere else, and to make it fit, I had to have it the other way around. And to then make it go the same way as this go, I had to switch this. Um, so that's also something to take into consideration. To always be aware of which side is the front. Um, so, what I will do now is put down this, and this puts down this little nifty thing, which, if we look here, puts down this kind of rudder and that will allow us to move the boat in the direction we want it to go and you can combo it with the sail so if the sail do take you in a certain 
direction, you can actually start moving. Just with a sail and this. And yeah, you rotate it by holding R and moving your mouse. It can be a little bit finicky. moving in the correct direction and this is why you need um, the engine so you can actually go the way you need to go for the time being i think however i should try to accumulate as many resources as humanly possible and build up A storage and I should probably also put some effort into making a storage system where I store certain things in certain boxes and so on so I think I will be doing that for the last bits of this episode uh, we need some rope that we need all of that uh, one two yeah so we will be making a storage area which I'm not entirely sure of where I'm going to put it maybe up here somewhere maybe in an enclosed room and I'm thinking of having a third floor actually that I might put a bit of effort into making for like farming and stuff that needs the sun so to speak um, like these and the farming and This, technically speaking, don't need it. This does. I might just pull it down at this point. But it's really nice to have to save fuel when you don't need to use the fuel. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyway. One... There we go. Four of you. Question is, where do we put, put them? For that, to be able to s determine that, I think... Uh, yeah, I think... Filling out the second floor might be what I want to do.
I can see it. In its full glory. Shock is rather annoying. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the, the big issue is wood at this point, and I think... The easiest way to alleviate myself of the issue of not enough wood is probably to start farming. I think. I think that's the easiest way of fixing that issue, so to speak. Oops. Ow. Um. Might want to move towards that island and get some wood but yeah i think that is what i want to do get some um farms going and uh, put that put up some trees to to grow it's just way too far out there um whatever let's get closer to the island and Get some uh the juicy wood and I think after that I will see what I can do to get towards my destination. But I really do need to fix this uh, storage issue first. It's not really an issue, but it would be nice to have a place where I can store things. And yeah, so I think what I will do between episodes is get the things needed for some. Uh, tree growing and uh, I will uh, see if I can actually oops not lose stuff did that drop um oh 
There it is. So... Yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can get uh, some more wood. The big bottleneck at this point is wood. So I will, as I said, between episodes here, see if I can get some uh, tree. growing going um, that should I think help me a lot going forward I have a lot of stones just laying around for no apparent reason and that 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 there's, there's a lot of wood being used here and yeah but i think i have a i think i have a good enough platform to actually start doing this i will pick this up like that and i think i will do this back here but for now i will uh Come back and uh, we will uh, see what we can do with the shark attacking us. And uh, this monstrosity down here, uh, with this fairly dark, so you might not see it that well because of YouTube compression. But anyway, the the engine will be used but for that to work efficiently and so on i need to start growing trees and i need to start moving things around down here a little bit so tree growing and that is next agenda and uh, yeah we will also uh, once the trees are going i will uh, start making my way towards the next destination so on screen you should be able to see a youtube recommendation quick access to subscribe button and quick access to the playlist for this series so with that we will say thanks for watching Goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.